guys and welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber I'm so glad you get you decided to come back and if you're new here thanks so much for stumbling on my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom to make sure you're in the know of all my new videos so for those of you that don't know my name is Carmen and in today's video I'm actually gonna be doing a flip of my personal wide rings so I have been in this personal wide for about a month now. I think I'm going to the end of this month. So basically for the whole month of August, I have been planning in here. So if you do not know, I went from a B6 Stylogy found notebook basically to a ring planner and it's been a little bit of a transition and I have my days where I really miss my B6 Stylogy. Um, so Maybe in the future I'll be doing kind of a mix of the two where I'll have this one as more of a reference home planner and then my Stylogy as a more everything. I don't know. Who knows what's happening? We'll just kind of roll with everything. So for right now, I have my personal wide rings in this print pression metallic cover. It is, I believe it's the pearl white type of color it looks it kind of comes off <clears throat> a little pink but it's really a white nude I'm not really that much of a white person just because it does get dirty and you've seen that like I have not been very careful with it but I do have a VDS or a Vanderspeck coming hopefully within the next week or two and that is more hopefully a little bit more durable. It is a Croco outside, so really hoping that, and it's a darker color, so that's the best thing about it. But anyway, so this is the front, and then the side, and then the obvious back of it. So this planner does not have a back pocket, which is kind of like a bummer, but it's been okay for now. And it's more of a very flimsy type of material. So it's very, like it's not sturdy. And I need sturdy just because I feel it comes off better, but whatever, for the time being, it's been okay. But it, the one big pet peeve that I have is that if I have it open and then I go to close it, it stays over like this. And then I have to like push everything, but whatever. So this is the strap. So it has two lengths. So if it gets really chunky, you can have it on the first one. If not, you can put it on the second one. So when I open it up, okay, there we go. So when I open it up, it has this front little pocket and then it has the crisscross pockets on this side. So in my pockets, I have this pigtails and pockets paper clip here. It's just really cute. I love the little pink Mickey head and I kind of just keep it tucked in here. Have a die cut from Bare Necessities Sticker Co. And then I have this from Oh Lord, I just forgot. I'll put it in like the little part right here in this corner. I just have to look it up really quick. Um, so this I got a while ago. I can't remember the shop, nor do I have the receipt for it to figure it out, but it came with like a set of them. And I just love these cause it's this really nice pink pop. Then I have these tab, uh, these tab, basics, I guess, from the style planner. And I use that to kind of, if I want to do a new tab on anything, I just go ahead and put them in here. This is from my, the school that I teach at. It's just a sticker that our principal gave us for starting the year virtually. And it's been a little bit of a struggle, but it's okay. We'll get through it. Hopefully the rays will make it even better. And then I have these uh, Virgo and paper weather stickers that I like to put when I remember to check the weather in my dailies. So starting off with a flip. So my front dash right here is something that I made. It is a honey bear, honey bee shop, um, journaling card and scrapbook specialty paper. And I just love the look of it just because it had the plants and it just looked really relaxed and just peaceful. And then here is, this is a dashboard. I have a couple of these dashboards and it's from the same shop. I think it's peach something, sparkly peach. 
something something along those lines is what it is but again I'm gonna put that in the description it's from the same shop so it says vibes and it has this monstera leaf so it looks like this was like vellum but it's just so cute and it has that really nice foil and then these are my dividers so I did make these dividers this is paper from Michaels and then I put these planner press bow tabs and then again I use those same style planner uh, tab names so this is my first section this is my to do section so it has my inbox my grocery list and an add to planner list so on the back here I put those um, just a little sticky pocket the ones that you get from the dollar section at Target I added this die cut from Kane's mom shop and then some just little random sticky notes I have a piece of acetate that I printed myself from a freebie and I want to say it's from the minimal planners group somewhere there I want to say it was caffeine and plans that had it um, but it just says be happy and it has like a little Sun and then it's just layered upon this vellum from the honeybee shop it's from the same collection that came here it was called modern greenhouse so then here I have my first section, well, subsection. So this is my inbox. All right, sorry about that, I got a phone call. So I have these subsection pages that I was telling you. These are from SM Plans and I printed them on vellum. And then these are my inboxes. These are the categorized lists from Peanuts Planner Co. So she has this that comes with the three tasks or five. So I just have a couple of those. Oops. And then I have this vellum from Happy Scrappy. It's just really cute because it has all these little food things. So I thought that was really appropriate to put in front of my grocery list. And then again, these are from Peanuts Planner Co. These are a freebie in her Facebook group. So I have a couple of those there just for in the middle of the week so I can just write things down that I need to. And then I have another piece of vellum from Happy Scrappy right in front of my add to planner list. And again, just thought it was really appropriate to put in front of there because it had the little typewriter. And then these are task lists or checklists. And these are again from Peanuts Planner Co. And I wanna say that these are also freebies in her Facebook group as well. These are a little bit more for you guys. So that brings me into my next section, which is my schedule section. So this is where I have my yearly overview, the school calendar, um, my monthlies, weeklies, and dailies. So I just have this Foxy Fix personal size. Obviously, it's not personal wide. Um, just a little dashboard, and I keep the stickers that I cover my month with on my yearly overview. And then another one of these stickers that our principal gave us says dedicated teacher even from a distance and I just thought that was really cute to kind of put in here I can put it back now and then this paper here is from Michaels and I had like a bunch of scraps so I kind of just decided to put those in there on the back I have this um, instead of try kind of journaling card from cloth and paper and I just really like that because it's good things to say not sorry it's different ways to kind of make it seem like you're not always apologizing so on this vellum if you can see it it's like pink clouds and I got this image from Pinterest and I just printed it on vellum and then I have that over this planner babe dashboard that is from my shop so if you guys know I have a special code for my YouTube subscribers it is 15% off your order of $10 or more and that's everything inside the shop including digitals and physical items so I have this one here and I just love how this one came out because I love the font this is my yearly overview from lights lights planner action co so I just mark off every month again with these stickers that I have that are from the bare necessities sticker co and it just has a couple extra note pages don't know what I'm really gonna use those for but they're there anyways so then that takes me to my future planning. So this is a foldable from Peanuts Planner Co. So anything that's coming in 2021, I can go ahead and put that in and it's all 12 months. So that's like for doctor's appointments or I can go ahead and list already. This is another piece of vellum that is another dashboard in my shop. 
so it's just I have this big obsession with those monstera leaves I maybe it's because I really don't have a green thumb but I just love plants in general but yeah and then I have a school calendar so I have the remaining of this school year it's teacher planning days Oops. teacher planning days no schools and early releases so they're all marked there I have the rest of this year and then on the back it has the rest of the year for next year I don't know. all right then that takes me into my monthly section so again this is another one of these dashboards from SM plans and it's my monthly this is a journaling card I can't remember exactly where I got this one from but I just loved it and I cut it down to size a little bit just to fit on the back I do have my stickers that I use for my monthly so I have a color code and I'll show you in a second and these are all from caffeine and paper co formerly banana doodle shop and I use this color or the sticker code system so they all pretty much match here so every month I try to have one of these just to kind of mark off my days which I do have a couple of days that I need to mark off because I'm a little behind well actually it was just one day not as behind as I think okay so then I just have this teardrop paper clip here and yeah this is a freebie from SM plans Facebook group these are my monthlies these are from peanuts planner co I saw these in planning with Alo, and I absolutely love the idea of switching it up instead of having the month on two pages I liked being able to see if I had something going on and then just kind of putting exactly what it was on the side it gives me a spot for reminders and then at the end of the month I can put a quote that kind of defined that month so I had my word of the month up at the top and it was embrace and then I put any birthdays holidays or anything special right here on the side and then I have it marked off with this SM not SM uh, style planner monthly tab and you can see here and I have them for the rest of the year to add in but I will be doing a video later on this week of how I set up my month or set up a month so I'll be doing September at the end of this week so I just have a couple more of those monthlies in here and then I have this jelly pocket that I it was a jelly cover from Salty Katie Co but it had and it was for my B6 Stalogy it ripped so it was no longer serving the purpose as a cover so instead of throwing it away I repurposed it to be a dashboard for my personal wide so I kind of cut it down this to size and did a little slit at the top here so I could slide things back here and then just punch some holes but yeah so I keep some extra stickers and some extra die cuts kind of down here at the bottom this is another one of those covers from SM plans so it goes into my weekly and then this is another one of my digitals that I printed on acetate. It's just a little neutral rainbow and I just love how it lays here with the weekly. But yeah, so these takes me into my weeklies. So again, pretty much all of my inserts are from either Peanuts Planner Co or SM Plans. I've always just loved the both of those. I don't know, it's just, I always love them. So these are actually from Peanuts Planner Co. So these are my weeklies. So I put basically my main appointments or main things going on that week in here. I leave this spot on this side to kind of highlight which week it is in the month. So I know how much is left, what's going on. And we have just a couple other weeks here. And then we have this week, which is <laughs> my favorite one. I love the neutral color so this is the kit from the style planner it was her September kit and I just love how it came out and then I use these tabs from Avery they're these sparkling tabs here and I just kind of move them this one I move with the week and the other ones the monthly and daily move with um, the actual little dash that I have it on just because they have a specific key so then I just have some more weeklies here well actually I have one more full week and then a half week but when I do my month I'll be able to take out the weeks that have already passed for August and put in some new sheets for September this is another dash that I made this is from laminated vellum and I have a video on how I made this vellum pocket 
in my channel and I will link it right up here for you. So it's just filled with some stickers and then other stickers here. One of those really pretty die cuts from the Modern Greenhouse. And then I can't really remember where I got this sticker from. And if you guys know where, God, I wanna say it was the Bare Necessity Sticker Co. I could be wrong, I'm not quite sure. But either way, this pocket has a front pocket, a middle pocket, and then another side pocket here. So in this side pocket, which leads into my dailies, I keep the stickers that I would typically put on my daily in the upper corner or anything along those lines. So again, another one of these section subsection covers, and then it just goes into all of my dailies. So I started to do like a to-do list and then kind of put main things on the side and then I did a time daily, and I don't know, just wasn't quite working. And then I started doing a bullet journal type of daily. And that actually really worked for me. So I decided to stick with that. So I have basically everything there from events, to-dos, notes, priority items, anything that needs to get forwarded. I put my gratitude, which I key with a heart, and then I also have my cleaning. If I've done any cleaning, then I mark with a triangle. So this is just the week. So if I don't have that much going on that day, I won't necessarily make a daily. So I guess that's what is, I don't know, easy about these. I don't have to do a daily. So I do them the night before. So I typically have it all ready to go the night before and then I kind of just fill it in as the day goes. I typically fill in any events that I have that day or if I know I need to get something done that day. And then this is my daily part where I have a key here and it's kind of hard to see, but I printed it on like a clear paper. Okay, and then I have just a couple extra dailies. So like for today, I had one thing going on today so I didn't feel like actually making a daily. So that was yesterday and then I just don't have one set up for today. So again, I just have these to pretty much go through the end of the month. And then that takes me into my next section, which is my personal section. So this is an acetate, a foiled acetate from that modern greenhouse kit from the honeybee shop. And then I have another one of these personal size dashboards from Foxy Fix. I put in the specialty paper from that honeybee shop kit. And I also have a Sweeping Plants planner cart with a journaling card that I got from, I want to say it's Caffeine and Plants. I'm not quite sure where I got this one from. Maybe it was Caffeine and Plants. And then on the back, I have the Style Planner die cut from, and then one from Bunny Plants. And then just a sticker cutout that I got from a Happy Scrappy package. So here in my personal, I have a couple different things that I have listed. So I have a places to visit as well as restaurants to try, and then it kind of just will continue on the back. Then here I have a wines to try and beauty items to try. And again, those will continue on the back. I have a wish list, and then I also have a gift ideas part. So that means if my daughter sees anything that she likes, that it's not time to get it right now I'll put it down um, anything that my boyfriend likes along those lines so I have ideas for Christmas or birthdays anything like that and then I have this foldable here which is not really a foldable it's more like a printout that I cut to size these are all of the Tombow dual brush pens that I have and those are these if you don't know so they all have a designated number and then you just kind of color it in to show that you have it but it also shows the different colors that you have. And I love that because I actually did buy two of the same color before I printed this out. So that won't happen again. Then I have this vellum from Happy Scrappy layered upon this specialty paper from Happy Scrappy as well. And then I have my tracker. So this is the tracker for August. Um, I am behind from yesterday's to mark off and then I just need to start filling in for today so I'll keep going with that for these months these upcoming months and that okay 
Okay, that takes me into another one of these Foxy Fix dashboards that I have. And again, there's that paper that I showed you earlier. This is a Happy Scrappy vinyl sticker, and it's on top of this freebie that was from the planner spot where it says plan a life you love. Then on the back, it has another Happy Scrappy specialty paper with a die cut from Foxy Fix and another vinyl sticker from Happy, not Foxy Fix, Fox and Pip. And then another vinyl sticker from Happy Scrappy. I have that. Next, I have this journaling card from See Amy Draw. It says, she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. And I just thought that was really cute. So then here, I actually have this. It's another one of those uh, dashboards from that shop that <laughs> I feel so bad I can't remember the name. I think it's Sparkly Peach. I do think it's Sparkly Peach. And I have my child's information here. And that is for just like anything, like doctor, emergency contact, all that stuff. And that is from SM Plans. All right, so that takes me into my next part of my personal section, which is my travel area. So if I have any upcoming trips or, yeah, pretty much that's it. If I have any upcoming trips, it'll be listed here. The most recent one will come. If I have one right after the other, I'll put two inserts. But this is a piece of acetate that I printed and it says Wanderlust and it has one of those little paper airplanes there. And I kind of layered that on top of this vellum from Happy Scrappy and specialty paper from Happy Scrappy. I'm really into the layering for this one. So then it takes me into the Wanderlust insert, which is from SM Plans. So I have not filled this out. I do have a trip in October. So I do need to fill this out when it gets closer to the date, but I don't have to do that right now. That takes me into my wellness section here and I have basically all the workouts that I've done and I kind of just put what it is and how long it was for. And this is for the entire year. So since I just started with this one in August, that's why you only see workouts in August. Not like there's that many. But then that takes me into my next section, which is my home section. So I have another one of these vellum pockets that I made. So again, it has a front pocket, a middle pocket, and another back pocket. I have my uh, pen loop here, since this planner does not come with a pen loop. It really was a major oversight on my part. But I ugh, can't remember where I got this from. I got it about two years ago or like, yeah, no, two years ago. Maybe. Maybe it was a year ago. I don't know. I'm losing track of time now. But anyways, it is filled with these sticky notes from Muji and then some stickers from Cat Espresso Co. And then another journaling card in here from See Amy Draw, which I can't take out because the paper clip's there. And then on the back, it's another one of those really cute floral bookmark things like the one that I have in the front. Next is a vellum that was a digital from Happy Scrappy. So I printed that one on my own. And then I have a couple of these note, they're like from a notepad. So that's why they don't go all the way. So these are from a notepad and it's just like quick notes, anything to jot down that I can write and kind of just get rid of. So something that doesn't have a specific area in here. Then another one of these typewriter vellums, like the one that I had in the front, and that's layered upon this honey honeybee shop paper, again from that modern greenhouse kit. So these are my upcoming home projects. So I have two different project areas, one for home, one for work. So this is upcoming home projects that I wanna take care of. So the only thing that's urgent right now is like a closet organization I wanna do. I have a page for emergency contacts, which I have not filled out yet. And then it kind of just goes into random home things. So I have like a recipe here. I have my beauty blender deep clean. And then I had a team meetings because I didn't have my Stalogy with me to do my, my notes. So I kind of just put it in here for the time being. Then I just have a couple more note papers. And then it takes me into my finance section. So here I have a monthly task overview, which has the name of the bill and if it's been paid for the month. So I have that going on and then I have different tasks here that are home tasks. So I have like change the air filter and budget for the month. 
Now, this part of my bills area is where I actually write how much it was and when it came out of the account. So I have that for those months all coming up. Oh, hold on. There we go. There's a lot going on in here, so it's a little chunky. All right, then it takes me to these online orders. And again, so this is another one of those Avery tabs, and I put one of those Style Planner online purchases tabs up here just to kind of mark it and put it real quick. And yes, I do slit all my inserts just to make it easy to go in and out. I don't have to open the rings all the time. Then I have another one of those monthly tasks. Again, these are from SM Plans and this one is for vehicle maintenance. And then on the back, it has different cleaning items that I would only do on a monthly basis. I have this deep cleaning guide from Vienna Ortiz Plans. So I kind of marked it off with this little, um, this little tab and it has a style planner little sticker here that has little clothing. So I have this guide for different things to do that you would normally think of. And then on the back, I have a template of my weekly cleaning routine. My last section is my work section. And that is not my teaching section because I have a specific planner that I use for all my teaching, but this is more YouTube and Etsy based. So that's why it's not really, you're not gonna see any like teacher items here. So I have this book vellum here from Happy Scrappy. And then I have another one of those Peanuts Planner Co. categorized lists. So this is the five one where my inbox was the three one. So it just has all the YouTube videos that I've done so far and if it's been filmed, edited, if I've done the thumbnail, uploaded and then promoted on my Instagram account. So I just have a couple of those. And then here is where I keep track of the increase in subscribers and different videos that I've done panned out for the month since this one here does not have specific days associated with them. At least these I know when I do them. And then this is the upcoming work project. So I have not filled that out. I have a couple things that I've written in my Stylogy, but I just haven't transferred them in here yet. And then some printer information that I need to actually fill out. And then I have this Foxy Fix page lifter. Um, again, since I don't know what's going on with Foxy Fix, if they're like rebranding or anything, but they don't have a lot of things available. So I wasn't able to get personal wide size. So I just reused my personal size and they've been working pretty much pretty good. So in the back here, there are four card slot types of things and then a wide one in the back. So I keep some Fox and Pip sticky notes and then some of the foiled bow headers and then some of these kind of just icon stickers from Kane's Mom Shop. In the back here, I keep my 2020 future planning. So this is where I still keep the same idea of not planning out the full month like I did in my Stalogy. I do that same thing here. So I do anything that might be happening goes here. And then once I set up my month, I will transfer things over. So I kind of just keep that tucked right in the back. And then it has this zipper pocket here, but I do not keep anything in here just because I have nothing to really keep in there. But yeah, that is my personal wide planner. Um, obviously it is rather chunky. A lot of information going on in here. Whoop. But yeah, I love all of these tabs. It finds it, it makes it so easy to find things. Like if I need to track anything, I can open that straight up to my tracker and it's just, it's great. So if you have any questions about where anything is from, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys wanna see anything specific. Just kind of drop it down in the comments below or send me a message on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and put that in the comment, in the uh, description below as well. Bye.